Louisiana Beer Review's Resin. 9.1% alcohol, 103 bitterness units, introduced in 2011. <clears throat> this was sent to me by Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. I um, accidentally deleted the first video. I feel terrible about it. He sent two cans, one for a solo and one for a duo. He said, well, it's not the end of the world. I just... Um, it was just carelessness uh, or confusion. I know what I did wrong in that, but it's too late now. It's gone. Anyway, Parkersburg, Pennsylvania, Downington, Pennsylvania, and it's also brewed in New York, Brooklyn, New York City, where it started. Now, this was introduced in late 2011. I'm trying to watch all the video reviews for it. There are a ton. People say they colored the color schemed it after hops, like green for the color of hops, that grass green, gold for the hop resin. And that's probably true. And it looks very nice. Nice can. Nothing about the devil, no funny animals. It's a good can, no adhesive covering, no uh, taped on labels. So the company must have some good in, in, you know, income, pay for good quality stuff um, although you can get some of these cheap looking cans that have some great beer in them I have to admit great best buy date it's really fresh so um, the video reviews are predominantly so far I've gone from the oldest to the more current and um, so back 10 years and they're saying uh, mostly A scored in a solid A like most excellent, what I would call that, most excellent, they use different terminology. But one guy said, I don't like it. He thought it was uh, unbalanced. and He wasn't the only one. There was a couple of, so far, that they didn't care for it. But on Untapped, they're giving it a good solid score, like 78, I think. And then um, Rape Beer's got it 96 out of 100 in the style, I mean 96 out of 100 overall, so you think it's fabulous. 93 out of 100 in the style, and, and uh, Beer Advocate has it at 92. So everybody likes it. I've never seen it in Louisiana, but I've never seen any six-point beer in Louisiana. They just don't distribute down here. And uh, we used to get a lot of New, New York Northeast beers. Victory got yanked in 2014. Southern Tier was pulled from here in 2014. We've lost um, Harpoon not that long ago. Uh, we've lost uh, f we still get Pumpkinhead from Shipyard but we don't get anything else. We used to get a lot of their beers. Really great ones like the Pugsley's 4 times X IPA. That was great. Some people t said it tastes unusual. It tasted unusual. Well it was unusual but it was still great. <laughs> All right. Medium head, I guess you'd say it's a translucent. No, it's semi. It's semi-transparent, actually. Yes, orange. All right. Let's go. 103 IBUs. I noticed some of the people in the videos were saying it's really not that bitter. It doesn't live up to the number, and that's not that unusual. It smells like a brown. Uh, I'm sorry, white bread crust and some hop oils, kind of kind of piney, oily resiny. It's hard to say. It's not really pine. It's you try to communicate it to people because you're not eating hop hops. Okay. It's bitter, but it's a real. It's a real treat because I've been so dismayed by all these so-called IPAs, you know, prowling around, seeking the ruin of palates. And they, um, well, I'm not saying they're going to ruin your palate by overwhelming you with hops. They're going to ruin your palate by making you think it's an IPA. <laughs> and you say, oh, it's so fruity. I love IPAs. It tastes like fruit. This one's not, it's, it's not necessarily dank, 
as we would call it, but um, it kind of has that thematic going on in the undercurrent of its tasting experience. The body's high medium, the finish is dry, bitterness units, I'd say four out of five hop cones, it's really not going up to 103, but it, it's, that's a number and that's why Bells won't even, um, they don't like to list IBUs because they say it's, it's deceptive. Nice lacing uh, around there. <clears throat> Mostly dry finish. You could say, well, you've had so many of these things. You're, you're, you're like used to the bitterness so it doesn't phase you so you don't detect it as easily as maybe somebody that's not worn themselves out on them. Well, maybe that's the case because I have been trying a lot of these things even back to 1996, but... Um, I don't believe that's the case. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's possible. Wasn't there a, like a Pikes 4X something? When's the last time you've seen Pikes? And the... <laughs> Why they would get rid of Hop Stupid, I cannot understand that. Lagunitas, that's beyond my understanding. That's beyond my conceptuality. You know, I just can't. I don't know. I don't want to get into all that. It's too disgusting, you know. But um, you might say, you old. Nobody wants all of that old stuff. I'm not old, <laughs> but uh, uh, it depends on your point of reference. Um, it's kind of simple in a way. It's sort of like sharp hop oils, the white bread crust, um, the drying finish. It's not to me. It's it is not complex. Uh, but it's certainly dynamite. I'm going to stick with what I said in the... I've done this twice this year. Deleted videos on accident. How many times have I done it since I started doing video re reviews? Probably about 10 times. Um, I had some RTDs that I deleted, ready to drink cane cocktails. Uh, Cazadores, Paloma, Cazadores... Uh, margarita. I did the spicy margarita. I deleted the doggone uh, Sugarlands Voodoo Punch. It was a sugar bomb. They're going to sell that at the Superdome. I mean, I didn't really, except for the resin, I didn't delete anything like profound, but uh, still irritating, disgusting, but um, I would have liked to post the, the Sugarlands and the Cazadores. I wouldn't get many views. I guess not too many people would be interested, but uh, but they were very nice, you know. But um, this one is dynamite. I'm gonna go st stick with 96. I think that's fair. 9.6 out of 10. It's a most excellent product. Um, I've seen this for years, 10 years. I've seen people posting photos, and I always said, well, I'd like to try it, but I, so I'll probably never see it, but um year-round production. I think you can get it on draft also, not bottles, but uh, yeah. Mid a Mid-Atlantic <clears throat> say this again, a Mid-Atlantic craft beer classic. Can't complain. Why would I complain about a 96 out of 100? So, <laughs> but anyway, so les les bon temps relay. Thanks again, Wayne. Sorry for the little it's kind of a big screw up because you sent it to me and I know you wanted me to, I don't know, I just can't, that's why I tell people don't send me beer because I'll probably, one time I was trying to open the beer package and I cut the can, <laughs> ruined the can, the beer leaked everywhere. 
That was I can't remember who sent that to me. You know, it's, if I buy it and I, and I delete them, that's 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 my suffering. But I feel really bad for other people sending me stuff and I delete it. I just I can't live that down. But anyway, so a most excellent beer. If you ever see resin, buy it, try it. And I'm almost certain you're gonna love it. And I'm gonna end this review by saying, go to Pennsylvania or New York and tour the one of those breweries. Tour the one of those breweries.